Welcome to the Control M Workload Automation Video Series. In this video, we will show you how to use a variable as a parameter in a command line job type when that variable has a percent sign in its value. To illustrate the correct way of doing this, we are going to use a job that is creating a Windows text file with a percent %20 in the file name. We are doing this using the echo Windows command with a redirect to the target file name. We will first show how to code the job without using a variable. And then show how to code the job using a variable. To accomplish this, we have submitted two folders. One folder, the no variable folder with three jobs, two incorrect way and one correct way. The second folder, the variable folder, with two jobs, one incorrect way and the other with the correct way. Let us first examine the no variable jobs. In this first job, we simply used file percent %20 name.txt as the target of our redirect. Let's look at the output. You will see that the target of our redirect translated to file 0 name.txt. That is because Windows interpreted percent %2 as a command line parameter with a null value. To prevent Windows from doing that, we should escape the percent sign with another percent sign. We did that with our second non-variable job. Let's look at this second non-variable job. In this second job, we are escaping the percent sign with another percent sign to prevent Windows from interpreting percent %20 as a parameter. So, here we are using file percent percent %20 name.txt as the target of our redirect. Let's look at the output. You will see that the target of our redirect translated to file ctmerr20 name.txt. That is because variable substitution occurs in the control m command line field. And control m interpreted percent percent %20 name as a variable. Since control m cannot resolve the variable, we get the ctmerr value. To prevent control m from interpreting percent percent %20 name as a variable, we can use the percent percent hashtag #variable prefix. The percent percent hashtag variable prefix tells control M that the variable should not be resolved. We did that with our third non-variable job. Let's take a look at that job. In this third non-variable job, we are using the percent percent hashtag control M variable prefix to prevent control M from interpreting percent percent 20 as a variable. Here we are using file percent percent hashtag 20 name.txt as the target of our redirect. Let's look at the output. You will see that the target of our redirect translated to file percent %20 name.txt just as we needed it to be. Now that we know the value we need to pass as the parameter to the command line, let us look into how we are going to use a variable to store that parameter value. Here is our first job that is using a variable to pass the parameter. We are using variable percent %var file as our command line parameter. In the variable section of the job definition, we are defining percent percent var file with a value of v file percent percent hashtag 20 name.txt. Let's look at the output of this job. You can see that we did not get the parameter we desired to be passed. We got a value with the ctmerr 20 name.txt again. What happened? We can show what happened by using the variable simulation window of the planning domain. Let's go to the planning domain for this job. When we look at the variable substitution window for this variable job, you will see that the variable gets resolved to percent percent %20 name.txt at the variable level. We have lost the hashtag at this point already because control M already processed it. If we look at the variable substitution window of the command line, you will see that the value being passed is percent percent %20 name.txt not that percent percent hashtag #20 name.txt that we want. So how do we resolve this? We simply add another hashtag to our variable value. We have done this in our second variable job. You can see that we have used percent percent hashtag hashtag 20 name.txt in our variable value. And if we look at the variable substitution window, you will see that the variable value we wanted percent percent hashtag 20 name.txt is what is in the command line. And if we look at the output of the job, we will see that the correct parameter v file percent percent 20 name.txt has been passed. It is a long video for a simple solution but we hope that seeing the process by which we arrived at the solution gives you an insight as to how variables are processed in control M. Thank you. That concludes this control M solutions video. Thank you for watching. Please check our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.